The second paint scheme for Buffet Racing South will be ran at Atlanta and Bristol. Here is Ross Chastain's 2019 Jeep Felton Restorations Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, howdy folks, it's Diecast Buffet here again, and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's car, well, of course, if you've seen from the thumbnail, it's actually a custom Diecast. Here it is, my custom 2019 Ross Chastain Gene Felton Restorations Chevrolet Camaro. Now, I, I made a video back in May, um, kind of showing the announcement for this car, and I've posted uh, photos of it over on my Instagram, at Diecast Buffet. And this car has gotten a lot of good praise. Uh, I've seen a lot of people, you know, say they like the paint scheme and they like the way it looked. Uh, they like the chrome lips and stuff like that. And man, I, I, I am so proud of this race car, man. Um, I designed this thing and built it all by myself. Uh, it, it's not perfect by any means. And I'll kind of point out some of the flaws as we go along. So, uh, first off, you can see how the decals have yellowed. Um, this was before I switched my clear coat, so you can see a bit of yellowing there on the, um, the, the hood and the side, so that, that's unfortunate, but I'm not going to let it, you know, ruin the car. I'm going to just, you know, I'm not going to really focus on that. Um, and then over here on the roof, you can see how the trim line was not done cleanly. Um, I could have done a much better job on that. Like it's very sloppy there. I I should have I should have you know done a better job. Like this side ain't too bad. It's just that side's pretty bad. So I do apologize on that. Um, when I was making this car, um, I actually messed up on the right side with the decal, and I had to use a slightly smaller decal. So you can see how on this end it's bigger than this end, and that's you know that's really unfortunate. But um, I had to do what I had to do, you know. I, I couldn't just go outside, you know, make more decals or whatever. I had to actually, you know, it was pretty much either I delay the whole custom maybe three days or so, or I just go and uh, get the materials I have right now and just use them. So that's, that's that. On um, the back of the car, I messed up big time on, as you can see, all the cracks in it. I didn't uh, size my decals right, and that's what really caused the issue in the back. So I pretty much had to fill in the gaps of the decals by hand, and that was that was not fun. Uh, not I'm not happy the way the back of the car looks, but hey, um, I, I worked hard on it. Uh, of course, the uh, spoiler could be a lot better, but you know how that is. And the trim line, it's not too bad. You know, I'm happy with the trim line around the car. And of course, my favorite part of the entire car is the chrome lip wheels. I mean, I'm a big fan of chrome lip wheels. I, I just, I don't know what it is about it, but you can put it on a street car, you can put it on a stock car, you can put it on anything, and it just looks good. I love chrome lip wheels. And uh, that's going to be my signature for Buffet Racing South, which is the team this car will race for is Buffet Racing South. Now, this paint scheme... I mentioned before, will actually be ran at Atlanta, which is race two in the NASCAR Drive Cup Series, and race three, Bristol. Um, and there's a story behind this uh, car and the sponsorship. So one of my good friends over on Instagram, um, we and him were talking about, you know, maybe uh, creating a potential sponsor partnership for uh, for the NASCAR Drive Cup Series. Well, his uncle, um, Gene Felton, does like a race car you know restoration business and stuff like that so I was I was he was telling me about it I was like man that sounds really cool and he was showing me you know his uh, website and all kinds of stuff like that and I was just looking into it and I was like man that is that is really cool and I started talking to him about it and I started you know coming up with some ideas and we, we both agreed that I wanted to make a custom of it and he wanted to sponsor so we came to a agreement for two races at, uh, of course, Atlanta and Bristol. You know, him being from Georgia, so it was really important to make sure this car was on track at Atlanta. And, of course, it being the second race of the season, it worked out perfectly. Uh, and and I, I took the, the branding of his, uh, you know, business and whatnot, and I added a modern flair to it. A modern flair to, to be able to, you know, put it on the stock car and stuff like that. So... In a way, this is a real sponsorship, and that's something that I I just it was so cool, man. Like I, like I said, it just it came together perfectly. I'm really you know happy with this paint scheme. I really am. 
You know, to some people it might seem a little plain, but it took a lot of work, man. And some of the details you might not be able to see because of the geek out quality and of course camera, but I actually made a small, um, like, I wouldn't say pattern, but kind of a print design on the red part of the car. You probably can't even see it, but there's like a small, small de pattern design where the red is. And uh, unfortunately, I, I can't get it on camera, but there's a small little print design. So the red on the car is detailed. And the whole back end has that print as well, but you can't see it. Once again, it's probably just bad decal quality and, of course, <laughs> bad camera quality. But for the most part, man, you know, I, I spent a lot of time designing this car, and it was a blast, man. I, it was a great experience um, to be able to, you know, partner on a sponsorship and to be able to you know come together and you know someone be full, fully supportive of this idea and we both kind of collaborated on it and I designed it showed him how the car was coming along and he loved it and it's just it was really cool man and it was really freaking cool and with that that's going to be the end of this video make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Diecast Buffet for more NASCAR Diecast content of course gameplays and everything else you can find NASCAR related Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great one. And I, Casper Faye, signing off.